Are you looking to create a really cool intro, outro, or end screen for your videos on YouTube and you're not really sure how you should go about creating it? Well, in this installment of What's the Diff, I'm going to compare two platforms that I use to create mine. One is called Canva and the other one is Placeit. I'm also going to share with you why and how I use these platforms in my business and in my videos. So stay tuned. Welcome everyone to What's the Diff Between Canva and Placeit. Before we actually get started, I do want to make sure that I am fully disclosing to you the fact that I am an affiliate for both of these products. To learn more about each, visit the links in my description below. First up is Canva. Now for most of you, you probably already are familiar with Canva or you actually use it on a regular basis to create graphics for your social media posts as well as maybe thumbnails for your YouTube videos and PDFs for your freebies. This year, they actually introduced Canva Video, which allows you to have the same capabilities with creating video using their platform. So let's go through what Canva Video actually offers and then compare directly with Placeit. First up, they offer video templates. You don't have to rack your brain trying to be able to be creative in coming up with an idea on your own because Canva does the work for you by providing you with thousands of professionally created video templates that include animation that you can choose from. They're organized in a pretty easy to understand manner, which I really, really like. Second, their videos are what they consider quick and easy to edit. And if any of you have ever followed me on any of my videos, you know that I don't necessarily like to use the term editing if it's not a bona fide editing platform that I'm talking about. But this is their terminology, so I'm using it for their sake. In reality, however, it's more akin to trimming more so than actual editing. However, you can do things like overlay text and add logos to your videos, which you can't do with most other trimming platforms. Using Canva video, you can lay out multiple videos on one page, or you can add additional pages that can equate to different scenes for your videos. Everything that is within Canva is on the drag and drop system. So that makes creating your videos super, super easy. There's no training involved, no major tutorial videos that you need to watch before actually using this in order to know how to use this. Third, they offer a lot of different types of animations that you can add not only to your videos, but also to your text. Fourth, is their free content. They offer thousands upon thousands of stock images and stock videos. And most impressively, they now offer hundreds of music tracks that are licensed through Epidemic Sound, which is pretty impressive. Fifth, they have what they're calling a storyboard design view. So instead of viewing your videos vertically, you do have the capability now of viewing your pages horizontally, which gives you the effect of a storyboard design layout, which makes it a little bit easier for you to plan out your videos scene by scene. Next, you can export your videos in a number of different ways. You can download it directly to your computer or to your Dropbox anywhere on the cloud, download your videos as an MP4 or as a GIF file. And then if you're actually creating your video for social media, you can also directly share your video on your desired platform. Next up is pricing. Canva is still relatively affordable. There is of course the free version. However, it does come with limitations in terms of capabilities. If you have a team, you'll need to pay for the pro version. Also, if you plan on using it extensively, it is limited in terms of cloud storage. If you upgrade to their pro level, then you'll be able to access their premium tools, such as the one-click magic resize, which comes in handy if you need to do multiple sizes of the same 
graphic design. You also will be able to add a brand kit as well as most importantly, uploading your own fonts and logos. Also what comes with the pro version is access to video files as well as the audio files. So the pricing for Canva for the pro version is $12.95 each month or you can pay on an annual basis and pay just under $120 per year. In the past few months, they've added or upgraded the pro version to now add in a team of up to four additional members. So now you're paying for one license, but you're actually able to have five people on each account, including yourself. So now let's head over to Placeit. So for those of you who are not familiar with Placeit, Placeit is known for the ability to do mock-ups. And for most people, they will use mock-ups if they're selling or marketing some sort of digital product. So for, say, for example, you have an ebook that you want to use um, as a digital product and you want to put that in an iPad. Also, if you want to put a cover onto a physical book, you can do that as well, in addition to using it for t-shirts and mugs and things of that nature. They also have the ability to create marketing videos and they've included in that YouTube videos and screens and intro videos and outro videos for your YouTube channel. So to dive in to place it a little bit more, we can see that they also have thousands of templates for their videos, just like Canva does. However, the way that they organize their library is starkly different to Canva and not as easy to sort through. They also offer the drag and drop system. Their editing interface is a little easier to understand in terms of the way that it looks because the timeline's at the bottom so you can see each scene on the bottom which allows you to know what scene you need to put next. However, I do actually prefer the storyboard design layout in Canva. When you do need to add additional scenes in Placeit, it is a bit cumbersome because it's not easy to find the next scene sometimes. They don't have a search capability, so it makes finding a new scene a little bit more complicated. They have a huge library of images and footage and templates as well as music. When it comes to exporting your videos, you can only export them directly to your computer. You cannot share them directly to social media. With regards to pricing, they're a smidgen higher when it comes to their monthly rate, which is at $14.95 in comparison to Canva, which is at $12.95, but their annual fee is significantly less at $89.69 in comparison to $119 over at Canva. Now here, I wanted to share with you a couple of examples of how I've used both platforms in creating videos for my business. For Placeit, I created my current intro that I'm using and actually I use it as an outro as well. Another way that I've used Placeit is to create promotional or marketing videos for my freebies, such as in this example for a PDF that I offer. I created this using templates that they already had. I just strung them together. If this is not one cohesive video, it's just three actual separate scenes that I found within Placeit. Placeit in some videos does offer you the capability of adding text, but you are confined to wherever on the screen they've added the text. In this particular example, I chose to just create the video with my mock-up downloaded it and then uploaded it into my editing software program and added the text. In this example from Canva, I created this intro and outro for my client. And lastly, here are a couple more videos of end screens that I created for my client as well as for myself. And that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see new videos as I publish them each and every Thursday here on YouTube. If you would like to see a video of a product or an application or software that I have not yet featured on my channel that pertains to video creation, feel free to post a comment 
in the comment section below. And then always let me know if you have any questions. Until I see you in the next video, take care.